about. Well, talk I, I, I really do. About on the racetrack, racing against him. You raced against him in the Bush Series, and obviously when you got the Cup, you raced against him there. What was it like racing against him and passing him and being passed by him and rubbing fenders with him in that kind you of You know, I, I raced for, what, 30-some years, you know, in all forms of racing all over the country, different, the best, best guys at different tracks and different divisions, right up through NASCAR and a lot of IndyCar guys would come and run with us. He was the best that I ever raced against as far as taking a car and getting the most out of it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. We have guys that's come along that when their car is right or it's, it's, it's you yeah. know, everything handling perfectly, you can't beat them. You know what I mean? You, 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 there's just guys, there's guys out there right now like that. But when the car gets off a little bit, some of those guys really falter. Earnhardt's best attribute was when the car was off, he could make it up, you know, a lot. As and the that, driver. And that really hurt RCR for a number of years because they lived basically off Dale I all see. through the 80s and early 90s. And then what happened, we started, all this engineering stuff started. You know, the, the CAD systems, the, the R&D centers at the, at the shops, all this engineering started taking place. RCR kind of lived off of Dale when all these other teams were going down this technical route or road. You know, RCR was still living off of off of Dale. And it got to the point finally, and I remember, you know, I remember one time at Pocono, me and Earnhardt, we raced for 500 friggin' laps. I mean, Pocono, or 500 miles, Pocono is the longest race on the circuit, and everybody's fussing because it's too long right. to be short, and we hear right. that right now, right? Yep. Yep. I'm telling you, 500 miles, me and him raced side by side for 19th and 20th place. All day long. All friggin'. <laughs> he came to me the next week. He said, Rick, he said, I'm going to tell you right now, I ain't never in my life raced so hard for 20th place. <laughs> never. I said, Dale, I'm telling you, if it's this hard for 19th, I'll never win a race. You know, <laughs> I'll never win a race. But I remember going to him one time after, after Bristol. We were in practice, and he hollered at me. I went over, and we were talking. He said, what's your car? And we were talking about our cars, and we were talking about shocks. He said, man, I'm so disgusted. I'm ready to quit this crap. I, I, can't, I don't know what's going on, right? But they'd fallen behind. You know, when he got, when Dale got killed, RCR turned that thing around. He had started. Uh -huh. he, he I think Richard realized, you know, they'd fallen behind in the areas and they were relying off Dale and they started turning that thing around. He started working on his shop, you know, doing things differently. And, and, and Dale didn't get to reap the benefits of that, I guess. Right. You know, we lost him. But, but as far as on the racetrack, I mean, I'm just so many times I learned, I learned a lot in the late eighties, we'd race the Bush Grand National Races. Uh, up and down the East Coast, right? The, the Saturday Night Bull Rings. But, man, I love when we go to Charlotte, Dover, Darlington, Rockingham, Daytona. Because right. there I could learn from Dale and Harry and Richmond and Bodine and those guys. And it always seemed like, for some reason or another, I was always with Earnhardt and or Harry, right? Those are the yeah. guys you happen to race, be yeah. around all the time. Yeah, and I, I remember Darlington. I learned how to race Darlington following Earnhardt in a bush race. You know what I mean? And ended uh -huh. up passing me in that race, about ready to win the race, and a float fell out of the carburetor. But... But uh, those damn cars. Just a lot of a lot of times you 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 just, you're sitting there watching. You like, and a couple of times I can remember, I'm like watching. And I'm like, how in the hell did he do that? You know what I mean? You're just like, man. So I would try it the next time, right? Oop, that didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> That's like, what I was going to ask. If you literally, literally like, saw him yeah, make moves, I or did, you're like, I did. I can't I, do that. I honestly saw that. Is you know? is there a lesson that you learned from him? Not necessarily in how to get around a specific track or what the best line at Darlington is, but is there a lesson that you 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 learned from him that you used throughout your career? Yeah, you mean not really race cars? Well, it or could racing. be race cars. Yeah, I did, yeah we, w one thing Dale told me when I first came in, he says, Rick, he says, you made it now. And he had tried to help me a little bit when I was in the Bush Series, you know, a little bit. And when I got the cup, uh, he got me aside one time and he says, here's what's going to happen to you. There's 43 of us, or whatever the number was. There's 43 of us out here every week doing this, Rick. And there's literally thousands of people that give their let well. They want to be here. Right? Uh, yeah. I understand. <laughs> you know, uh, to paraphrase. But he their says, left hand to here's be. what's going to happen to you. Here's what's going to be said about you. Here's the darts that's going to be thrown at you. You know, you're going to be continually have darts thrown at you. Everybody wants your job. Right. People trying to knock you People off. trying to knock you off. He says, uh, you deal strictly with that race car and your sponsor. You deal with making that car go fast and that sponsor and don't pay any attention to this. And he was exactly right. That went on my whole career. You know, it went on my whole career. And it's don't not get distracted by the other stuff. Yeah. Yeah, because if you do, you get caught up in that stuff, you know, and you're trying to defend yourself here, defend yourself there. You can't do that. There's too many darts being thrown at you as a cup right. driver to, try to to ward off every attack thrown your way. Again, it's 43 of us every week, and thousands of people would give anything to, to do what you do, you know. And uh, that was probably one of the best lessons. Yeah. Rowdy.com. Say it like it is.
Say what like it is. Bravity.com. 